They are the heroes on the front lines of the fight against COVID-19 in our city, leaving their families behind to take care of ours. Today, we're shining a spotlight on them and their lives. In our Frontline Diary segment today, we connect with Seth Oduro, Manager of Environmental Services at the General Campus of the Ottawa Hospital. Good morning, Seth. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Tell us, hey. about, tell us about your role at the hospital. So I am responsible for um, the Environmental Services Department at the General Campus, Ottawa Hospital. And um, I have about 310 employees uh, in my department, including 10 supervisors. And uh, our primary responsibility is to keep the hospital clean and safe uh, for patients, uh, for visitors, and our co-workers. So in a nutshell, it's uh, trying to disinfect and kill every germ on all surfaces in the hospital. So as you can imagine, it's a huge and, and an important task. Yeah, I mean, that is a job you have to do outside of a pandemic. But when the pandemic struck, the pressure on you must have been huge. Yes, uh, the pressure was huge. Um, so first of all, uh, some of my worries were um, getting PPE for staff to, to do their job. Uh, that was the number one thing on my mind. Also trying to uh, calm nerves and uh, assure staff that we will get through this because everyone was anxious about it. I was anxious about bringing this virus home uh, to my to my family. I wasn't worried about myself, but I was worried about my my two kids at home, and I I, I didn't want to bring this virus home. And also the the request we were receiving uh, went up uh, significantly, and so we needed to balance that. Uh, with the number of employees we have and getting all these requests completed. Tell me about how uh, things have changed in a way that you've been able to adapt, how uh, it's become more difficult, but that you've been able to manage this because uh, you're right there on the front lines and this is what you just have to do. But I would imagine it hasn't been easy all along. Yeah, so uh, I think we've been able to manage all this uh, because uh, our frontline colleagues that work with us day to day, uh, they've shown courage and, um, and, and selflessness. I mean, it takes courage to come to work when you know that you're dealing with a pandemic. So I, I, I really appreciate uh, their courage and selflessness. Also, I think we are fortunate to have um, to work for this really good organization. Our senior management have communicated to us uh, whatever is going on, and we managers have in turn passed this message to frontline staff. I think that communication has really helped uh, calm nerves down. Uh, we've rallied together, and for me, that's that's what has uh, kept us going till this time. On a personal note. I know you've been working pretty long hours, and I understand that uh, your neighbors have been doing some nice things for you. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I think the, the support we've received from the community has been encouraging and amazing. And I want to say a big thank you uh, to, to our, our community members and our neighbors. So this personal experience, um, about a month ago, uh, our fence, mine and my neighbor, my neighbor's friends, it broke. And uh, it was a Saturday morning. I saw my neighbor out of uh, the house trying to uh, take care of the fence. So I thought uh, I need to get out and help him out. So I went out and uh, my neighbor and his wife, they, they said to me, said, you're a frontline worker. You work at the hospital. You work long hours. Leave this for us and we will take care of it. Uh, that really touched my heart. Um, and so uh, we felt the love uh, from the community. And that's one thing that has helped us to uh, endure this difficult time. That is a really nice thing of them to do and, and a good lesson for all of us who could do something to help and to show our appreciation for all the frontline workers out there. Just before I let you go, is there a moment in all of this through either your personal life or your work life that you won't forget? Um, I think this pandemic, for me, it has really drawn me closer to my colleagues. 
I don't think we've held that many meetings in a month like we've done now. Uh, and what that has done for me is to draw me close to my other support services colleagues, to draw me closer to my director and uh, because we talk every day about what's happening. Also, it has drawn me closer to clinical managers because we're always working together to resolve problems as they come up. And most importantly, my, my trust and faith in, in the people I work with uh, every day has gone high up. Um, one of the concerns I had at the beginning of this pandemic was that staff will not show up to work uh, mm -hmm. due to fear of contracting the virus, legitimate. But um, every day people have come to work. In fact, uh, we are doing really, really well now than perhaps we've done in the past. So I'm very grateful for that. And my faith in them has really gone up. It gives me the confidence that in the future, uh, whatever comes our way, we can rally together and, uh, and be able to fight it. That is so wonderful to hear. And it sounds like your team is very lucky as well to have a very uh, strong leader in you, Seth. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And we salute you for all of your hard work at the Ottawa Hospital. Thank you. It's a pleasure.